The dance, the music, and the colorful outfits, in addition to the silence of prayer, reflected not only cultural differences, but also the hope of those who left their homeland. The mass concluding song for the World Day of Migrants and Refugees was performed by a festive group from Eritrea. They left their country because of the difficult political situation. Some of them dream of returning home one day. To me, if uh, my country's situation becomes better, I, would, I don't want even to stay one night here in Israel. It's only on God's hand. I, I wish God will repair our country, our, uh, God will uh, improve our future. The Eucharistic celebration was presided over by the Vicar of the Latin Patriarchate, Monsignor Jacinto Bulos Marcuzzo. The homily was given by Monsignor George Bakuni, Bishop of the Melkite Greek Catholic Church of Akko. Taking inspiration from the Gospel of the Good Samaritan, Bakuni highlighted the need for the conversion of the mind to Christ, and the need for charity to foreigners. This is not an easy task, especially considering the actual context in Israel. We are in a very difficult situation for the moment uh, because there is a law that was edicted that all the asylum seekers should leave the country before the end of April. So we will have a, a difficult period. Uh, we pray God that there must be some, some solution to be found. The coordinator of the pastoral care of migrants stressed the fundamental need of human dignity to be guaranteed for this population. Pope Francis himself expressed concern in his message for the World Day of Migrants and Refugees 2018. It is a common responsibility of the countries that welcome them. There are laws, international laws, to protect those who come, the migrants and the asylum seekers. But also it is a mission of the Church and I think that the Pope Francis is really uh, reminding us of that, uh, not only the last letter that talks about welcoming, promoting, protecting and integrating migrants and refugees. According to Father Rafi, today in Israel there are about 240,000 migrants and 40,000 refugees who came from countries like the Philippines, India, Sri Lanka, Romania, Eritrea and Sudan. Most of them leave their country because of wars, persecutions, natural disasters, and poverty. The option to leave the country of origin becomes mandatory compared to the desire to stay. They keep their roots alive, but at the same time, they integrate themselves into the society of their new country, thanks to the work of the Pastoral Ministry on Migrants, which organizes catechesis, prayer meetings, and individual encouragement activities. If I had a chance, I wish to go back home, of course.